Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. I know I've been MIA for a while. I haven't been putting any uh, videos out there, but um, right now I'm gonna try my best to catch some talkfish. Today's conditions are about 50 degrees. It's a little warm, the sun is out. There's not much wind blowing right now. The sea pretty much looks pretty calm. It looks like uh, some good conditions out there for togging. Uh, I'm gonna be fishing the outgoing tide. It's gonna be a nice day. I got uh, a whole bunch of nice, good quality bait, you know, I caught, so there's a little glimpse of that. I'm going to be using my Lamy Glass 8 foot rod paired up with my VR50. Let's see what we could get, guys. Let's go fishing. going to hover my trap. So it's currently in high tide, and this cage has been here for like almost two weeks. Oh yeah, oh man, it's full of crabs. <laughs> Jackpot, baby. Jackpot. <laughs> you see this, guys? Jackpot, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bait for days. Hell yeah. Look at all these crabs here. <laughs> what? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill this back up with bait. And next time I come, it's gonna be a full of green crabs again. These are just pieces of meat that I had from the last harvest. Get in like that. Put some in here. Bam. Bam. All right. So during this time, I normally catch some white crabs, but I don't see any. Maybe these green crabs really took over the area, man. All right, I'm gonna throw it out back out there again. So, let's go. All right, so I'll see you in a couple of days. So guys, I'm trying to decide which one I should use. Should I go with my Jigging World Night Ranger rod paired up with my Shimano Twin Power 4000 or my Lamy Glass base foot or my VR50? It looked pretty sweet today, but I think I'm gonna go with my Lamy Glass. I'm gonna go all the way to the edge of the jetties and I'm gonna need that distance. So I'm gonna go with my VR50 plus it's high tide, I'm probably going to get wet and stuff, so I need a reel that's going to keep up with the conditions. So my VR50 is waterproof, that's what I'm going to go for. Let's go. So guys, I'm going to the jetty right now. See you when I get there. What's up, man? How you doing? All right, guys. So I'm gonna be using the, my pre-made rigs I made last night. Made like a dozen of them, just to save time and stuff. So. Pretty simple rig. Looks like somebody's been here already. But look at the crap that I got. Bait. A 
Okay guys, I'm gonna start fishing right now. Um, I'm gonna be using my eight foot GSB lamy glass rod paired up with my VR50. I got a 20 pound braid on it, bar swivel, 40 pound monofilament leader, the dropper loop. Got a size 3.0 bait holder hook. You could use a circle hook also. And I'm gonna go light. I'm gonna have a one and a half ounce sinker. I'm gonna cast it out there and see if I could go full bottom. Um, let's see what we could get, guys. In the socket, out the other socket, okay? The thing is, you need to show the hook. Okay? And then, you want your drag pretty tight. You don't want to loose at all. These blackfish, as soon as you hook up, these guys are going to run to the rocks and try to hide. So it's just in their nature. So it's your job to get them out of the rocks and pretty much reel in before they get into the rocks, okay? So I recommend going pretty strong on the drag. You don't want it too strong, but you want a little, just a little bit. You'll get a hang of it after you catch a couple of fish if you want it more tighter or not so I'm gonna cast out my first cast and let's see what we could get guys I'm gonna cast pretty far I don't want to cast too close okay I'm gonna start building the bite just like John Skinner said uh, I, don't ha I don't think anybody was here for a couple of hours so what you do you got to build the bite guys so I'm, I'm getting some bites already there we go. When you get those bites, what I like to do is give it a little slack, okay? I don't want too much tension on it, but just in that moment when they're biting, I feel like the fish, if they feel too much tension, they're gonna let go of it. Oh, first cast, first rig out. So that's part of togging though. You're gonna be losing a lot of rigs. I guarantee it. So that's why I come prepared. I tie up a whole bunch of rigs, man. Don't, don't overstress yourself out. It's just part of pogging. All right, second cast, guys. I'm using a two ounce now. There we go, I dropped bottom. Feel the bottom a lot better. The current's pretty strong. It's dragging my My rig pretty far out but the key is to catch these fish out there at the tip so it feels like I'm getting some bites right now I don't want to stay too long in one spot I like to check on it to give it a, like a little jig so I don't get stuck there we go got a nice bite right there nice tug There we go. There we go. Fish on, guys. Fish on. You gotta yank them out of there. Let's go, let's go. There we go. Looks like a keeper, too. Oh, maybe not. It's a nice fish, man. Nice fish. It's probably like 14 inches. I'm gonna measure it. Put them down. All right, it's 14 and a half inches. Very close. But no cigar, man. First, first fish, 14 and a half. I'm gonna cast pretty far, guys. I'm not gonna cast too close. It's just gonna get hooked up on the rocks I'm just gonna let it float let it just touch bottom I'm gonna reel in the slack okay it's gonna be tossing around look at that I have fish trying to bite it already but make sure give it a couple of the jigs because you don't want to get caught on a rock 
don't stay on one position for too long too so when i make my rigs i like to have it really nice and long i don't like to have it too short because as soon as the braid touches the rocks here it's gonna get caught off right away so i recommend having the leader at least like 40 inches 36 to 40 inches long don't have it too short all right it's 11 o'clock low tide is at 12. So right now it's pretty much dead tide, not much going on. Um, what I like to do around this time is to actually find the spot where they're kind of biting and build the spot, uh, build the bite. I'm gonna keep casting in the same spot and I'm just gonna get them kind of wild up and start biting again. So what I like to do is to cast in the same spot over and over and build the bite. Well, I'm getting a bite. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, let's go. Not bad. Let's go. About 13 inches, I say. There we go. Guys, I think I'm gonna give talking a break. It's pretty much slow all day. I'm gonna go back to my car, kind of recuperate. I'm gonna try to surface for some subscribers. I was talking before and now I want to see if I can catch the spikers. I see a lot of fish even by. Feel like a shad would be a good choice. It's a lot of peanut bunker right now. Boats are chasing stripers right now. They're passing by, chasing those stripers. Look at this guys, it's raining bunker right now. Oh
come on. Let's go. It's unbelievable right now. Fish are going crazy. Stripers are going crazy right now. There we go. There we go. Oh no. Fish are going crazy right now. Come on. Sean guys. First strike over here. There we go. Right at the lip. Baby strike over. There we go. First fish, baby. There we go. There we go, first striper baby. Let's go baby. First striper is about well like 18 inches. Let it go. Hmm. kind of hard to catch the fish right now because there's so much bait in the water. There we go. beautiful fish very healthy funky funky fish awesome second striper guys everybody's hooking up right now if you ain't out here you're missing out seriously There 
we go. Another fish, guys. Whoa. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Oh That's what I'm talking about right now, man. It's crazy right now. Like cast after cast. This is the fall one that I'm talking about, man. Hell yeah. Let's get it. Let's bring it in with the wave. Let's get it. Stripers are loving the bucktail right now. There we go. Another bite. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about right now, man. That's how we the surfish in Jersey. Let's go. Let's go. So much fun right now. It's like my sixth striper. Just getting started too. Bigger one. I'm gonna see if I could keep this one. If it's 20 inches, I'm gonna take it. Okay, it's 28 inches, guys. It's a nice fish. There we go. Another one. Another one, guys. <laughs> Another bite. Cast after cast, everyone. Let's go. much fun right now. Oh, another good one. Oh my gosh. These are some really quality stripers, guys. Look at this. Woo! Beautiful, man. So guys, uh, I started fishing around like 10 o'clock this morning, talk fishing at the jetty, and there wasn't much action there. I caught a couple of 14 inches, but no keepers. Uh, then I saw a whole bunch of fishing boats out there at the end of the jetty, um, just like a whole bunch of them. I know they were, what they were going after, it was stripers. So I decided to start uh, striper fishing around three o'clock, and man, it, well, it paid off. I caught about like at least 10 stripers before sundown. It was really amazing. I'm keeping one right now. It was a little over 28 inches. 
and um, I'm gonna have a nice fish dinner for Thanksgiving. I just want everybody to know, whoever's watching this episode, I really appreciate your loyalty and um, thanks for not subscribing. I just want everyone to have a nice Thanksgiving. I wish everybody the best. Thanks for watching.